don't know if it's the air or the whiskey, but I'm a little dizzy. Let's see. What did I have in the old phone for topics? I always have something written down to talk about so I can bullshit my way out of the my way out of the campsite. And today I want to talk about the people I work with. But lately everybody I work with is just fucking getting off on sports. Like everyone, they come to work and they're like, they're talking about the game and they're talking about the sports and they come over to me and they start rattling off stuff that I don't even know the I don't even know what the words mean. Like I, I do not and have not ever cared about sports of any type, ever. Except maybe MotoGP, but I don't even follow that enough to talk about it. As, like, I remember as young, as young as I can remember, I didn't care. Like my dad tried to get me into baseball with Cub Scouts and stuff, and I, I was trying to hit balls in the backyard, and I, I, I remember just wanting to quit doing that as soon as possible. I hated all of it. <laughs> and I don't know why. Because I know sports are popular and it's something that everyone across this country and the world for that matter get into and celebrate and it's fun. But my interest in it is less than zero. Like I cannot, I, I just can't. So people come to work and they're like, they always just they look at me like I'm like not all there. Like there's, there's something wrong with me because I don't like the, the sports, I don't like baseball. And like I've tried to explain this to people and then this guy next to me is like, hey, you're looking forward to hockey? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not looking forward to hockey. But they just, that's all they talk about. They come to work and they're like, oh, did you see the game? Man, so-and-so's doing good. And then they talk about somebody's contract and shit. And it's like, dude, how into sports are you that you're talking about people's, like, contracts and, oh, my God. I don't get it. I don't get it. But I know a lot of people watching this are definitely sports fanatics. Like, the odds are very good that a lot of you love sports <laughs> and that's fine it's perfectly fine but that's definitely something that annoys me I don't know man there's also this girl at work and she works in like I don't know where she works I don't know what department she works in or what she does but she does this thing where when she greets you in the morning instead of just saying good morning she says hi how are you but every time she passes you in the hallway she also says hi how are you and then at the end of the day she says hi how are you it's like, you're not, like, when you greet somebody in passing, you're not supposed to pose a question or a phrase, for that matter, that requires answering. Like, are we going to stop every time and I'm going to tell you how I am? Like, that's an awkward, it's an awkward question to pose. Hi, how are you? I mean, maybe if you're, like, in a store and somebody's walking in to their store and they're a customer, you're like, hey, how are you today? Like, that's one thing. But, like, your coworkers, come on. Just say, hey, or hey, good morning, or good afternoon. Like, don't. Don't ever ask somebody a question, like in passing like that, it's awkward. They're all nice people, they're office people, you know? And I think office people, I think I've talked about this before, but I just don't understand, I don't understand the office. And office people and the socialization that happens there, because it's always forced, because you're never working side by side alongside people. You don't develop relationships and friendships uh, naturally. Instead, you have to get up and go to someone's desk and say, Hi, what do you like to do? And uh, I think that's an unnatural way to socialize, and I don't really like it. I don't think, uh, I don't think it's a good way to find out who, who fits your grooves, you know what I mean? And so I'm really quiet. I don't like talking to people. Because frankly, a lot of them are just nothing like me. You know, they're always 20 years older than you. They're fucking diabetics and sports fans, and we just don't have anything in common and there's this guy actually this guy next to me that constantly tries to find stuff in common with me he's like coming over and talking to me about music and he just knows all of the most the most obscure bands that you could ever know and you know and he comes over and he just lists them off and it's like what do you want me to say man like i don't know any of your stupid bands he's fucking 49 i'm 29 like we're from a different era we're not going to be buddies and everybody's like that though because like no one like like, I'm not, I've, I've yet to find somebody in an office that's my age and is, like, likes the outdoors, even. Doesn't like sports. In fact, there's one guy. There's one guy I met who's like that, and he was working at the last place I worked for, which wasn't even actually, like, engineering. It was this weird type of drafting that didn't really require engineering background. Uh, but he is actually incredibly intelligent. I love talking to that guy. But, yeah, 
It's uh, it's weird. It's just a weird dynamic for humans to go and sit in little cubicles and and work away at their jobs. And some people have boring cubicle jobs. I don't think mine's that boring. I think I mine's actually interesting sometimes, and it's definitely challenging. And that's a good thing. But just like the social dynamic in a place like that is is always weird. Because I think humans are meant to be outside. They're meant to be working together. They're meant to feel like they're a part of a team. And when you're in an office, even if you are considered a team, it never really feels like you're on a team. Because you're always working on your own job. You know, like whatever you're doing is like your job specifically. You know, as opposed to like, let's say a construction crew working on a road. Everyone's working on that road. You know, it's not like you're working on this road and Bob's working on the other road. Everyone's working on the same road. Oh my God, look at that. Hold the fucking phone. I hope that comes through on camera. Have you ever seen anything like that? I'll tell you, man, when the sun is in a different position, it can make the uh, the landscape look like totally different. Oh my God, there's a cross right there. What a fucking crazy way to die. That is a truly incredible view. Well, maybe someday I won't have to work in an office and I can come out and I can just do stuff like this. That would be the dream. Bye! Oh, remember to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload videos. I'm a follow through with promises, I promise that I would